There's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV. We just listened to Exodus's. Was it their tenth record or their ninth? I, I, I forget. I forget which one it was. But it's in, it was put in 2010. It's entitled Exhibit B: The Human Condition. Which I learned through the listen through is that there was an exhibition A. Exhibit. Blah, 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 exhibit. What? Exhibit. Exhibit A as well, alright, I'm stuttering and buttering, don't hate, appreciate, alright people, um, apparently both, both exhibits were as good as each other, they both complemented each other well, I got recommended this on the Patreon, um, through Lans R.I. who says, yo, gotta check out this Exodus record, and I've checked it out, and we listened through all of the 13 tracks, 12 tracks on the record, 13 tracks on including the bonus track which might have been thrown on a, a remaster or a you know a re-release or this that and the third i was very impressed let me tell you that first and foremost i had a look at the song list so normally when i first see these playlists i'll catch a couple of seven minute tunes and that and i'll think oh a couple of long numbers here but this record is jam-packed full of long tracks so over six minutes basically you probably look at an av average song length of 610, 620, maybe? Maybe more. Maybe more, to be honest. Maybe half, six, six and a half minutes long. A lot of these tracks are seven minutes, over seven minutes long. And there's plenty of them. So let's speak on this playlist, including the bonus track. There's 13 tr tracks. So I don't know how long it spans, but it's definitely longer than your traditional metal record even though these big metal records from big artists who've got the time and the resources to really create a, a longer form product you're not touching 50 minutes generally you're not to, you're not touching it you're probably doing 40 minutes at most but this record was a lot longer and normally i'd be turned off by that it's this this record isn't going to sway my mind of what i think of longer form music because i'm into punk rock i like short blasts of music but this band was incredibly consistent on this record. It wasn't boring. So many riffs. It was like I was listening to, you know, a half an hour thrash metal record, but just doubled up. Like, it was so consistent. It was just like a, a good thrash metal record, but double the material you'd get from your standard. The vocals were very good. The guitar work was phenomenal. If you like riffs, this is really good, because I thought... You know, generally speaking, these bands from the 80s, when they continue putting records out and they're in double digit records, the music's never the same. It's sort of like a bunch of old dudes trying to cash in and just continue doing what they're obliged to do. But Exodus have really, they sound modern. They sound modern. Um, after hearing this, like I liked listening to Havoc, and I can see where Havoc have got their sound from listening to this, especially the vocal sort of approach to things. Um, and considering they, these dudes were the OGs. Bro, give me that Exodus instead. Let me listen to that Exodus. Way cooler. Um, these dudes have not aged badly at all. Um, this was a great record. Everybody rating Gary Holt in the comments. Gary Holt, Gary Holt, Gary Holt. A lot of respect for the guy called Duke who was fronting this record. And i got to put some respect on both of them. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Really good. I didn't have a favourite track because they're all so consistent. Flip side is with consistency comes boring if you don't necessarily enjoy what you're hearing because you're going to have a heap of it coming your way but if you like the riffs like I like the riffs and you like the grooves and you like the melodies like I did you're in for a treat it's not over te technical for the sake of it it's not overly fast for the sake of it it's not overly heavy for the sake of it it's just very well played very well thought out consistent, good, talented craft and years of experience and a good production to match it's a heavy record it is a heavy record but not down to like forced heaviness it's just generally a heavy record and it sounds really good i was very pleased by it um a few edgier topics to be spoken of but the point is it's the human condition it's an exhibit of the human experience and what we as humans do and some say that reality is more scary than horror right fact is uh, more 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 exciting than fiction 
and um, they go to prove that we got we got we got songs about school shooting in here. Can you believe it? Which which is um, you know as far as thrash metal is concerned, something that's relatively untouched on. So it's still creative, um, given that it was this far into the discography of Exodus. I preferred this to Bonded by Blood, and everybody rants and raves saying Bonded by Blood is one of the best thrash metals of all time. Thrash metal records of all time. I think it's better. I think it's better. I give this I give this record a rating of eight out of ten. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come back to the record. Don't get me wrong. It's not something I'd go out of my way to listen to. But eight out of ten is an incredibly respectful rating for what I offer because it's talented. It's metal as hell. The vocals are good. The grooves are good. The riffs are good. It's non-stop content. There's no filler. There is one track which is arguably like an, an interlude, which is a perpetual state of indifference, but I'm not complaining. I am not complaining because it serves as an introduction to Good Riddance, essentially. And after hearing the 9 minute 33 epic, which is The Sun Is My Destroyer, it makes complete sense to have a little bit of a bridge there to the final track. I think it's very artistically placed. And that's my opinion on that record. On that note, I'm signing out. I'll see you on the flip side, people. Peace.